This is Ben Lang Henricks with Mini Lessons Info, doing a mini lesson called Add a Ghost with GIMP 2.8. I'm going to take this image right here and I'm going to add a ghost over on the right. And this is the image I'm going to use as my ghost. Um, switch that around and I'm going to isolate and cut out that figure. I'll do a quick and dirty cut out first um, to get everything to be basically white. I'm going to use the fuzzy color tool um, and I'll keep changing the threshold until it selects everything around the figure. Okay, and that's a quick way of doing my cutout. So now having taken that, I'm going to resize the image to make sure it's roughly right. Um, I'm going to change it to 1600 so it's about three quarters of the size of the other image. That should get my figure where I need it to be. Do a shift control J to get full size on the screen. Copy is visible. And now I'm going to paste it over here. Uh, we can move it where we want it. And then we could just change the uh, opacity and make it see-through. But, but ghosts have a sort of spectral presence. And so what we're going to do is something a little bit more complicated than that. First we're going to do a, a layer um, size to image so that we're, they're the same size. And now we select um, basically the, everything that doesn't exist and do an invert and now we're going to grow that selection and then we're going to feather the part we grew and that leaves a, a smooth transition from the figure. And now this is kind of the trick of the of this. We're going to turn off the, we're going to select the, the bottom layer, turn off the ghost and then use the filter, um, render, and do a difference cloud. That difference cloud will give that spectral appearance behind the image. So then we turn it back on, you can see it sort of over, uh, extends beyond the edges. We'll do a grain merge and then probably just still change the opacity a little bit down to, to get that image to look ghost-like. All right, and that's about right. So then we take off the selection, and that is how we create a ghost that has a spectral presence in GIMP 2.8. Thank you, and visit uh, minilessons.info for more tutorials on GIMP and other technologies.